Keynesian theory of income and employment based on effective demand. Effective demand divided into two parts. First, aggregate demand price or you can say that aggregate demand function. Second, aggregate supply price or you can say that aggregate supply function. Aggregate demand price is total amount of money which businesses expect to receive from the sale of output which is produced by a specific number of workers. For example, 1000 workers produce 1000 unit and businesses expect to receive 50,000 rupees from the sale of 1000 unit. 50,000 will be called aggregate uh, demand price. Uh, employment aggregate demand price aggregate demand price and employment have a positive relation as aggregate demand price increase employment also increase aggregate supply price is total amount of money which businesses must be receive from the sale of output which is produced by a specific number of workers for example 100 employees produce 1000 unit Wages cost of these employees equal to 35,000. That's why from the sale of 1,000 unit businesses must be received 35,000 rupees. The 35,000 rupees will be called aggregate supply price. Employment aggregate supply price. As aggregate supply price increase, employment also increase. Aggregate supply function curve is full employment point. After E point, aggregate supply function curve become vertical because after E point, more workers are not available. Determination of effective demand. Effective demand is point of equilibrium where aggregate demand price equal to aggregate supply price employment aggregate demand price aggregate supply price aggregate demand function curve aggregate supply function curve at e point aggregate demand price equal to aggregate supply price that's why e point will be called effective demand point but this is not a full employment point e1 is full employment point at e point only o n employees are working but full employment we need o n1 employees so n n1 will be called involuntary unemployment in economy